Hi, today we're going to be fitting the Tech Fork Upgrade Kit to a Triumph Street Twin. Now it's the same instructions for doing the T120 as well because it's just the same kit. So first of all you need to support the bike on a stand or something just to get the weight off. A couple of blocks of wood or axle stands or whatever it'll do just as long as you've got the weight off the front end because these springs are under pressure. Now you, under the top nut you may need to move the bars about a bit to get in here to get better access but on this side you can get in here so just undo the top nut I've already loosened this so Should be just a light bit of tension in there. So once you've got the nut off there, you can see there's a plastic spacer inside, which you just pull out. And you're going to be replacing that with a, a different spacer that's in the kit. Now I normally use a magnet to get these out. This, you'll find there's a little shim on top of the spring, like that. And then pull the spring out. Now if you just hold it there for a moment and let some of the oil drain off it because you don't want oil all over the place. And as you can see Triumph have used a linear spring that means it's the same all the way up and we're going to replace it with a progressive spring in the kit which gives you better performance right across the range. Gives you more comfort at first and it also helps prevent bottoming out because the, the last part of the spring is much heavier. Triumph's probably saved about a pound a bike by fitting these. Never mind. So in the kit you get a new progressive fork spring. That's the original spring there and you can see the coil windings are the same all the way up. Whereas this one we have a progressively wound spring. So it's light at the top about the same rate in the middle and it gets progressively harder at the bottom. Now this gives you a bit of comfort at the beginning because it compresses easier. Mid-range is pretty much stock spring rate but at the bottom it really tightens up to stop the bottom bottoming out. Now if you look the fork springs are very slightly shorter than the standard ones. Now this is to accommodate the adjustment range on the adjustable tops that we do. Now we've got 15 mil adjustment on there so with the new springs in, their about middle adjustment is exactly the same as standard. So you've got about 7.5mm positive and 7.5mm negative to spring pre, uh, preload to standard. So we'll just pop these back in with the standard spacer tubes and uh, we'll show you how you adjust it. So first of all the spring goes in with the, the tight windings at the top. Then we put the spacer tube in, the spacer washer in. And make sure that's seated properly. Now the way Triumph's designed the spacer tubes, it, it does locate it properly, so it can't really be at an angle, otherwise it wouldn't go in. As you can see there, you've got just enough space to get the, the top on without compressing the spring too much. So just make sure, you, because that's quite a fine thread, that it engages properly. Don't force it at all. And then just gently screw that in. So we just nip that up nicely. And as you can see, the, the adjustment is fully wound off there. So that will be the lowest setting on the front end. Now ideally on the setup on this bike, to try and get the steer a little bit better, we want the front as low as possible and the rear as high as possible. That will pull the front end trail in a bit and make the bike steer quicker because it's got too much trail on standard and this is why it's reluctant to turn. It makes the bike very stable that way but you want a little bit of stability to try and make the bike turn in faster. Now we just repeat that on the other side now and then we can try it out. Now when you set them up I would recommend you set them, count the rings and set them to the middle ring and that will be about stock height. Then you can obviously take it either way there from which which you prefer best. Like I say, normally we'll have them wound out more than wound in. 
and that'll give you a bit more quicker steering. If you want to go lower again, you can just undo them through the four clamps and drop them that a little bit more that way as well. But this gives you the ability to really just fine tune them. And you will feel a difference with the springs as well. So on the right hand side you can see I've taken the nut off, the top nut off there now. And just to get some clearance in, I'm just, uh, instead of taking the whole bar assembly off, I'm just taking the uh, brake master cylinder off and just swing it out of the way. Obviously you would normally cover your tank up just to stop anything dropping on it, but I'm just being lazy here. I hope I don't regret it by dropping something on the petrol tank. There we go. Now that should give us good enough access to get in there. Again, we just pop that in with the, the tightening going a bit to the top and the shim in again. Again, just make sure that's gone in straight. You'll know if you haven't put it in straight because when you try to put this in, it'll be sticking out the top. That's that's the way it should be there, just just nicely in from the top there. And then it's just a matter of putting the top nut on, talking it up, putting all this assembly back on, and then it's ready to try. See, so we're trying them on the on the lowest setting first, and then we'll just take it up to where we feel it's nice. But we like to have the front end dropped a little bit. But you you try it when you fit them yourself and see what you prefer. Right, so that's it all fitted there now. What I'll do is I'll wind those in a couple of notches each side, and we'll give it a, a road test. Now, what I always suggest when you do suspension is do one thing at a time. That way you'll know if you're going in the right direction and change it in small increments. Don't be, you know, be going winding something right on or right off because it's hard to tell what you've changed there. And never do more than one thing at a time because you'll never know what the problem is if you, if you do have a handling problem with the bike. It'll be a lot harder to sort it out. If you do one little thing at a time you'll feel what the difference is and you can easily correct it by going backwards again or going in the opposite direction. Okay, next we'll be doing the, the suspension, fitting the suspension units on the bike and showing you how we set those up as well. So, bye for now.